So the question is this, how do we get better, more informed patients and run successful businesses? How can I get the information I've learned from opening multiple dental offices and treating thousands of patients out to you? Those are the questions and my weekly videos will give you the answers. My name is Dr. Nate and welcome to the Thrive Dental and Orthodontics channel. Crest white strips have become extremely popular before their affordability and convenience. So I want to talk to you about everything that has to do with Crest white strips, if they work, are there any alternatives? So let us go, let's dive into Crest white strips. So what are Crest white strips? They're basically just a piece of plastic with some carbon peroxide or different chemicals on one side of it. You then take it out of the package, put it onto your teeth, leave it on there for a certain amount of time and each one of the products is slightly different. And then there you go, voila, you have nice, bright, beautiful white teeth. And I have a little bit of a confession. I use Crest white strips. Actually, this is a long time ago now. This is probably like 10 or 15 years, so I guess they're pretty old. It seems like it's been that long, but maybe it hasn't been. But I used them a long time back in the day, and the results were actually pretty good. So that is a good, good positive of Crest white strips. The results are pretty good, but there are some negatives as well. But let's go through some of the ingredients and see if they're similar to what we use or if they're different or what's going on with all their ingredients. So Crest white strips will actually have some of the same ingredients that we use in our office or that most dental offices use and it's hydrogen peroxide or carbon peroxide. Both in general are considered relatively safe if you use them in small doses and small amounts. So even with take comb whitening, with any type of whitening, you do not wanna overdo it. You wanna definitely follow the label and make sure you do not overdo it because if you do, you can really hurt your teeth, you can cause them to be super sensitive, can really damage your gums, and if you ingest this stuff too much, it can actually cause some full body issues, so we do not wanna do that. So it's true, a lot of the ingredients that Crest White Strips have in their product are very similar to the ones that we use for the take-home whitening. So what's the difference? Why don't you just go to the, to the store, get the Crest Whitening Strips, boom, and be good. There's a couple main reasons. Number one is that it's kind of like a one size fits all. So you basically take out these strips and they kind of go in this kind of layer. And you put them on your teeth and you just kind of hope for the best. And why is this good and why is this bad? Number one, it's good because honestly, it, it works. They're a huge product, tons of people use them. It works, it whitens your teeth. The problem is because it's so generic, it's gonna go on your gums as well. And I'm sure if you've done this, if you've already tried them before, as I have, you know that this is definitely something that happens and it goes in your gums and it gets you these terrible, terrible irritations. Sometimes it can be like a zapping feeling or it can just really damage the gums. There are times when your gums actually will turn white and kind of slough off a bit due to some of the ingredients that are in these white strips. Is there anything you can do to make it so Crest white strips are a little bit more tailored towards you? And the answer is yes. You can potentially maybe take some scissors and scallop them so it goes along your teeth a little bit better. That of course is gonna be pretty tough because you have to do it yourself and you have to make sure you're doing it properly so you still have gel in your teeth but you also don't have gel in your gums. That is one way that you can help make it more kind of like a customized result for you. But there's something a little bit better. Why do you not just come into one of our offices? I'm sure there's other dental offices doing this as well for your custom trays. So what are custom trays? Custom trays are just something that happens when you come into our office, we take an impression or mold of your mouth and we make you these trays that are specific to your teeth. And why is that better? Because you have these specific molds to your teeth and all we do is we put this whitening tray solution into each little tooth and it's very customized to you. And so the whitening solution does not go on your gums and that is so much better because that is not gonna create as much sensitivity for you. And you know what? It's free. Well, it's free for now. I don't know when you're seeing this video. I'm not sure if it's gonna still be free, but it is free for now. If you come to one of our offices and you're a regular patient of ours, you're gonna get these custom trays for free. And as long as you come to your, your six month cleaning or whatever cleaning you have to get, you will get extra carpules of the whitening solution. So why don't you come in? It's so much easier than getting some Crest white strips. All right, even if you use Crest white strips or the take home bleach and whatever you're gonna use, can you whiten crowns, veneers, composites, like fillings? And the answer is of course, no, you cannot. So if you're gonna get a crown or veneer, if you haven't already, you should definitely try to whiten your teeth to your desired whiteness before you get the crowns or veneers or implants or whatever you're gonna get because once you get that colored tooth placed on, the crown or veneer, or whatever you're gonna get placed, 
You cannot change the color. You can't whiten crowns, veneers, implants, composite material. You cannot whiten it. So don't even try to, you cannot whiten it. So make sure to get that whitening before you get your final crowns. What are some alternatives to crest white strips or take home bleaching or any of that stuff? And there isn't too many, but one of the biggest things is you should have a great, great, great electric toothbrush because remember there's two types of staining. There is the extrinsic, which is on the outside of the teeth, and then there's the intrinsic, which is on the inside of the teeth. The white strips and any all those products help the inside stuff, but not necessarily the outside stuff. So if you have you know, lots of coffees or any plaque or buildup, you should have a toothbrush to take all of that stuff off, because then, then it won't seep into the inner portion of the tooth and have those intrinsic stains. So a great, great toothbrush, potentially some Hydroxy Appetite toothpaste is a very safe alternative to a lot of these kind of whitening toothpastes that we don't really like as much. So those are some ways that you can help prevent yourself from needing this intrinsic whitening that you get from these Crest White Strips. So in conclusion, Crest White Strips, they do work. I've tried them myself. I know a ton of people that have tried them, but there are definitely some other alternatives. You can come to our office. We can give you a customized bleaching tray, which are way better. You can have a really great toothbrush to make sure you're getting off all those extrinsic stains. And if you're really, really good, you can just, you know, not get those stains in the first place. So that means, you know, if you want to drink coffee, drink it through a straw. If you want to drink sodas, drink it through a straw. Although I don't think you should have be drinking soda, but that's, a, that's for another video. Anything that's going to stain your teeth, you want to try to avoid. But if you do have it, you want to rinse it out with water or toothbrush really, really quick so you do not get any permanent stains on your teeth. And remember, if you're going to get crowns, or veneers, or implants, or composite fillings, you cannot whiten those. Don't even try to because you cannot whiten those. So make sure to whiten your teeth before you get the final restoration so everything matches as good as possible. All right, that is everything to do with Crest White Strips. If you have any value in this video, please subscribe below because as you know, I'm putting out videos every single week. I'm trying my best to answer all your questions and comments below. Once again, this is Dr. Nate and I will see you in the next video.